So yesterday, if you missed yesterday's program, you missed a lot. Uh, yesterday, I uh, spent a lot of time talking about what the hell is wrong with us? Who are we? I, I know I'm not alone. And I think we are repeating a time in my life that I remember vividly. I was in my late teens and uh, Jimmy Carter was president and Ronald Reagan uh, was running. This is 1980. I couldn't vote yet, but I watched it. And I, I know what America felt like because my grandparents were working class people. My grandfather was a shop steward, a union guy, a Democrat that worked at Boeing. And I remember all the job layoffs and everything else that was going on at Boeing. And everyone I knew lived paycheck to paycheck. My dad had a small business. We were a bakery. We didn't employ anyone um, in the late 70s at all. I mean, he used to have other people. The whole family, all of us kids had to work. I was working there when I was, you know, seven or eight um, and making a whole 50 cents an hour. But uh, we, that's just the way it was. And I remember our downtown going down and everything was changing. The mall had just come in. And America was fundamentally different from my, you know, eight-year-old memories to my 16-year-old memories. It had lost something, and it was changing, and everyone was afraid, and everyone was talking America down. And, and I remember my parents and my grandparents saying, this generation, what is going on? This isn't us. I remember that. That's where we are right now. Except I think we're so far away from remembering that this country is all about us. It's not about a government. It's, it's not about a group of people. It's about the individual and what they can do. Government, as Reagan said, is the problem, not the solution. We used to have faith in big corporations, uh, and, you know, most conservatives were not afraid of corporations. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't trust these corporations at all, at all. In fact, I believe they're in cahoots, and I know they are. I just wrote a book called The Great Reset that exposes all of it. They are in public-private partnerships with governments and elites all around the world. And it is a hostile takeover, and they are doing everything they can to convince you that you are powerless you're powerless to make your own decision about how you treat your own body with COVID. You are powerless to decide, can you stay open and be safe or not? You're powerless to decide what you do with family members. You have to be told, don't go to Christmas. Don't do it. Reject those family members. You're being told right now that you are not smart enough to be the parent of your own child. They are questioning why you even need to know what they're teaching your child. This is the 1970s on steroids, and it's all going bad. It's all going south quickly, and we are beginning to accept our store shelves are empty. We're beginning to accept I can't get that because of some sort of a a breakdown in the supply chain. Yesterday, I really hit my breaking point. The Great Reset is all about how they are, uh, how they are cornering you and trying to make you feel like you can't do anything so they have ultimate control over you through banking and big business and government. It has hit a nerve. This book is the best-selling book in America. It is number one on uh, the Wall Street Journal, number one USA Today, uh, number one Book Scan, and number 12 New York Times. <laughs> okay? It should tell you everything you need to know. All right. Here's the problem. I told you before we launched this book Please get it because of the supply chain. But now that I'm in it, 
I keep hearing people around me going, this is a good problem to have. And I'm like, how? How is this a good problem to have? Well, you've sold everything out. Yeah. So why, again, is that a good problem to have? Well, you're not sitting around with books. Yeah, okay, that's a different problem. This problem is I need this message to get out. I can't, you, there's no way for me to wait for three months before I bring it up again. Hey, by the way, order the book. And then, I mean, we're already, I am told, already sold out of the second printing, which means now the third printing will be in spring. That, that's, it's, this is not reasonable. This is not reasonable. And it's not about money. It is about the message. This has connected. And people need this information. So I have a couple of choices. I could just make the book free and give it away and just publish it online. Okay, good, except it took us a year and a half of work, a lot of research and time, and, uh, you know, I'm a capitalist as well. And we should point out that if you do want a digital copy of it, it you is can available. Get it. The Kindle version Correct. is there. So you can get the information, Correct. but you can't get the actual book, and a lot of people want to read the actual book. Exactly right. The other part of that is, A, capitalism, two, or B, is the reason why I'm not standing on the Kindle book, I'm standing on Kindle, get the Kindle book now, because you need the information, but you have to have it in written form for all kinds of reasons. Well, they've pulled books off Kindle before. Correct. We've talked to the authors. Correct. The okay. books disappeared out of people's libraries. So I'm in a meeting yesterday, and I mentioned this yesterday on the radio program, something like this, and I'm in a meeting, and everybody's like, well, Glenn, our contracts, and we have this, and this person has exclusive rights to this, and blah, 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 and I was like... I'm sorry, am I in America even anymore? We can't, they cannot fulfill what they're supposed to do. Well, it's a supply chain. Bullcrap, it's the supply chain. Yes, those are some of the problems. But I don't, I don't believe in no. I just don't. Until you've tried everything. And so I started thinking yesterday, and here's what I'm going to do. Because the secret of the Great Reset, to beat it, you must go local. Okay? I keep telling you, we have to strengthen our local businesses. We have to strengthen our local banks, our local stores. You can't just keep giving things to Amazon or you'll have one choice, and then you will be beholden to that one choice. So I'm talking to the people who are, you know, actual publisher, the people that are printing millions of books. And those things are scheduled. Those printing presses are running 24-7, okay? They're scheduled tightly. And, well, you got to go with one of the big presses. You got to do that. I said in the meeting yesterday, why? Well, because it's all coordinated and you've got standards and everything else. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I think local people at smaller print shops can understand those standards. Why do I have to run a, a print of 500,000 with one press when I could do 10 at 5,000 or 50,000? Why couldn't I do 100 at 5,000? 100 printings 100 at 5, printing presses and 100 business. Hmm. Well, a coordination would be, uh-huh, uh-huh. Really? Coord I mean, we went to the moon <laughs> with less technology than we have on our phones today. You're telling me that we can't come up with a way to do this? So here's what I want to do. I want to print this thing unlike anything has ever been printed probably since Tinsdale. He was the guy who was burned at the stake for, you know, printing the, the, the Bible page by page with hundreds of printers. Here's what I want to do. If your print shop can print a book at the same quality, I want to hire you. And I think we have to put a standard in of maybe 5,000. You have to be able to produce 5,000 and you have to hit our standards and, and everything else. 
But I want to hire local printing presses to be able to print. Because quite honestly, the printing press is kind of important in American history. If we lose the ability in our own towns and we can only get messages out to each other by going through one of three giant printing companies, we're screwed as a nation if you ever want to remain free. So I want to empower the local people. I want to pay you to print the book. Here, if you are a printer, I want you to write to um, the email address print at glenbeck.com. Print at glenbeck.com. Tell me everything about you. Tell me how many books you think you can print. We'll get you all of the metrics and the standards and everything else. Tell us how much you'll charge and how long it will take you to print X number of books. You tell us what you can do. It's going to be a difficult situation. We're going to have to really work together to get it done. The other one I want to do is local bookstores. I have nothing against Amazon. I appreciate Amazon. We, we have sold uh, pro, over 100,000 books just now in the first, what, week uh, at, through Amazon. And I appreciate it. Uh, and I have nothing against Amazon. And I, if they were allowing you to buy it at Amazon, I would say, great, go to Amazon. But they took the buy button away. You can only get the digital copy. Because the print is going to be so far into the future that they don't feel comfortable having so many books, you know. uh, And people complaining that their book hasn't arrived and it's been months and all those problems that pop up. So I want local bookstores. If you have a local bookstore and you want some of these books that we're going to print locally, I want to empower you as well. In fact... I may not even say that you have to be a bookstore. If you have a a shop someplace and you think you can sell these books, uh, I would would be open to hearing about, hey, I got a pizza parlor and uh, I I know a lot of people that will buy this book (laughs) at our pizza parlor. I don't care. We'll give it away with each pepperoni. Yeah, it is. Each large pepperoni, you get a copy of The Great Reset. Correct. It doesn't. It's not about the money for us, and it is not about uh, 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 any kind of book list. We got it. I'm number 12 on the New York Times list. (laughs) Number one on every other list by a large margin. We know the game that is being played by the elites. I'm not going to play it anymore. And the way to defeat the Great Reset is to strengthen ourselves locally. While everyone is getting the bailout money, I'd like to send you some of my money so you can do what America has always done, and that is do a kick-ass job. Get it done and do things that everyone else says you can't do. Is anybody in on this with me? never been done it's insane to try but that's why i really want to do it the email address bookstore at glenbeck.com and print at glenbeck.com i want to put my money to work in your neighborhood send us now we'll get back to you as soon as we can 